This video is on the J2, M5 and War Thunder, where I tried to get 5 kills with only 84 rounds. And another one. He's just moving closer and closer. It's like that... Oh, he disappeared. It's like that cat meme, you know the cat? That like gets closer and closer to the owner as it like... As he peeks it. Like this. Is that a firefly? Yeah, that is a firefly. I'm not there. By the way. Oh, fair. Oh god. I'm still gonna die here. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. You see me. Yeah, yeah. He thinks I'm coming back around that same. <laughs> is this the same guy? See, I did go around you this time. Was he shooting into the smoke? Two planes. One guy. Here comes the other. And up we go. Cannon Stang. That is a yikes. It's a poor actual French plane. Are you okay? Why won't my shots land? That was bad shooting on my part there. There he goes. <laughs> okay, four bullets. That's GG. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking out the J2M5. And the reason I wanted to bring this thing out was to do a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to try and get five planes shot down. That's an ace with only 84 rounds. Now the rounds this thing fires, I'm going to be using the tracer rounds just because boomer eyes, but they've got 59.5 grams of TNT equivalent. What the heck just exploded in my hangar? Anyway, what I'm trying to tell you is these things are absolute nook shells, but they're quite slow velocity and you don't get very many of them. They're also wide set out on the wing, so they can be pretty difficult to aim. And the plane itself, although it turns well, it doesn't do very good in low altitudes. And with only 3 millimeters of penetration, it means we can't really fire at ground targets either, unless they're open tops. Now for this challenge, I did take out two different tanks in order to get myself in the plane. Number one was the Chaffee, and number two was the Cheeto Late. Now the poor Cheeto Late here used to be a pretty decent tank, then volumetric shells came around, and it's almost impossible to play now whenever you're facing 5.7. It's also a medium tank spawn cost and gets no benefit from being a light tank and scouting things, but I thought I would bring it out anyway. Oh and by the way, this thing is the exact same BR as the EBR. Hopefully though the tank thing shouldn't matter, all we want to do is hop in this guy and do some damage to the aircraft. Alright, let's uh, hop into battle. Okay, this is a full down tier. But it leaves us with one problem. One, the game is very small. And two, the EBRs are here. I fully expect one of those things to just end up in our spawn. You didn't fire smoke over there, did you? There goes my track, inevitably destroyed. That murder can keep our six covered for a little while. It's very loud, whatever is coming this way. Hands are just got rocked from something. What is that? A Cromwell making all that noise? Something is on A. It is a Cromwell. I missed him because I'm bad. Oh, there's an EBR. He hit the wall. And there's a Cromwell behind me now too. And a heavy tank. This Churchill's looking for my turret.
And I'm flanked. Yes, sir. Stop some Ari on me. I don't have any turret or nothing left. We need to farm as many spawn points as we can so we can take a plane, but I don't think it's going to happen. And here we go. First airplane of the day. If it's a Spitfire, we might be in trouble. Or a Typhoon. We're just going to have to see what it is. But we can climb very fast in this thing. A friendly 410 coming in too. This guy is going super low. I'd much rather he climbed with me, but you know, this is just how it be. I think we're off our whip. It's a French P63 or something? Mm, okay. He just broke his flaps off, I think. We gotta be pretty careful here with this guy. Old speed very well. Mid engine boy. He seems to be very interested in this 410, though. Running out of steam very quickly. That's not going to kill him, but it's definitely going to hurt him. I'm surprised he didn't die to that. SPA is going to shoot him down. I'm going to lose the kill. Two planes chasing after me. Got his pilot. Wait, I got a guy here. I'm um, toasting my engine as well. I gotta play kind of passive with whatever this is because I don't know. It could be something that can easily catch me. He's off. Other one's still chasing. There are three planes now, four planes. This guy just still chasing me to the moon. And he's catching me too. Right. Well, this is going to be a problem. It is Maz after him. Kind of successful bait. And he's going for the Tisma. Okay. We need to go help Tisma now. Is that P40? Yes, sir. That's my bad aim. I'm sorry, this my. This is totally my fault. That is an angry SBA. 109 just wrecked something. Bad head on. This is a hurricane. Come on, up you come with me. He's throwing his bombs off. He may actually hurt me here. He's running out of steam. Okay, Chief. Here we go. And we're good. Right, disengage. Get away from that buffers thing firing at me. Another plane. He is going to the battlefield, I think. With 36 rounds. The 109 just died. Get him, fucking wolf. Again, bad aim. Come on, boss, you're better than this sometimes. Oh my god, dude, I can't believe those missed. They look dead on, too. 
I do have three packet loss, four. So, I mean, when you're firing a slow rate of fire guns, they generally tend not to register. We're only three kills in, though. And I think that's going to be it. The enemy team's not looking very good on spawn points. Very stress. Right, what was shooting at me before from the ground? Because SPAAs are pretty easy to ammo rack. Oh, we got a plane. That's priority. They're cooking a little bit. Okay, got this guy crit. I think my teammate just shot me. Yeah, he did. MC Lover just basically team killed me there. Okay, still got the kill though. One more to go. Ow. Okay, I was kind of forced this way by this KV-1S who's behind me. I did not want to be here. This is an absolute disaster. Sometimes when you spawn, you try and turn and then I got somebody who obviously recognizes me. And is just like constantly bumping into me. I, I get it, dude. Yeah, I see you. There's something crawling up this hill. Couple of things. That needs to go. And I think this other did may push me here. There's a couple there actually. He just got hit. But he's still alive. Lots of Sherman variants. Something else really loud there. There's another guy. We'll definitely get our plane here. That's for damn sure. My shell disappeared midair. This guy's got a fast. Move. God, did it? Why? There's so many clicks to scout that guy. Yeah. Unfortunately, ping and packet loss was not on my side there. Nobody should have to play like this. I feel really bad for people who have bad internet or far away from the servers. But being EU and having like the packet loss, like the actual server quality be as bad as it is, is just absolutely shameful. I didn't even see that guy. Are you coming up? Or are you banking? He's banking. Here another plane actually. I can't shake this guy off probably. What is that? A Spitfire or something? No. It's a P-47. P-40, sorry. What happened to the plane that I crit? There is a lot of SPA here, goddamn. That man is hard on his rudder, Jesus. Right, okay. I can't hit anything with these slow rate of fire rounds in this server. I don't know if I got that other plane and I'm too busy dodging SPA to actually check the scoreboard. <laughs> we have 46 rounds left though, which is not ideal. 
I did get him. This is really hard to fly, by the way. Any, any direction I pull in, like the plane has got a mind of its own. Planes don't fly like this. Okay, two DCAs have been killed. I'm incredibly frustrated playing War Thunder these days. I'm really sad about it. Our team is getting stuck in. We are likely going to win this game now. Without much else happening, really. Is that a truck? Yes. Wow. So, how can I take out the entire crew of an M15 with a single 30 mil? <laughs> right? But when I hit a plane, it's just like, yeah, he hit his flap off. <laughs> okay, dude. The Zero might be here for some air kills too. We'll have to speed up the process. Here he comes. An F6F with two tiny Tims. He is going pretty fast. I'm trying to snipe him, but it ain't happening. That was... Okay, I've got two ammo left. <laughs> I've got two ammo left. That truck. Maybe if I hit this truck, I can ammo rack him or take out his crew. And then that'll get me my double ace. Sorry, my ace. Just a single ace. Nope, I got a hit on him. Wait. I'm forgetting. I'm a Japanese plane. I'm a complete idiot. There's a way. Never mind. No, I did a gum. How the hell did I hit him? <laughs> I love that spawning. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, fill up here. Which means our plane's going to be cheaper to spawn in. The only problem I have is I don't really like facing the allies. Especially in planes. But that's okay. We're going to have more hope for shooting down things like 410s. Big targets that are easier for me to hit. Or maybe I just have to suck it up. And just have to deal with a bit more capable... 50 cal spammy things that are going to set me on fire constantly. Keep an eye out for any shamans going this way. One thing I, I don't want to face either regularly is uh, the jumbo at long range. He's going to be a pain in the ass to kill with this guy. Much easier if you're in a higher caliber tonk hitting that cupola. Or going for an overmatch at the track. They ain't invincible though. That's just the logic of a heavy tank, right? Slightly harder to kill. I'm just gonna chill here for a wee second. The French are here too. I don't really have very good vision when the map's all dusty. I'm pretty crap at spotting things. There's a man in between that rock right there. There's also a dude right here. 
Let's get rid of this big French thing first. Or, or not. That's a comet. This to just chilling here doing nothing? Okay then, buddy. And that French Sherman just staring right at me right now. I don't really fancy peeking him, but. Okay, he was a bit slow on his gun. Right, that guy is hiding at the back of his spawn. I don't really want to go after him either. He's playing a slow game. Uh, is that a bulldog? Or what? No, it's can't be a bulldog. It must be a chaffy or something. Yeah, it's a chaffy. I'm probably gonna die here. It's an EBR not paying attention. Okay, three kills is enough to get our plane, I'm pretty sure. Let's play a bit more cocky now. That's probably an EBR at the back of the spawn. Uh huh. You surely can't be alive still, probably not. Send around this way anyway. Right, okay, there we go. A chappy got me. I think it was the did me the crypt before. Oh yeah, I forgot I hadn't killed him. I told you I wasn't warmed up. <laughs> right. Yeah, axes are definitely more aircraft happy. The one thing I don't want to do is a cheesy strat and just hover above their air spawn. That would really suck. Most of these guys probably going to be French. I don't want to be on web either. You don't have plenty of fuel for this too. You just got to chill out a wee bit. Bide our time. We've got a T14. I've not seen one of them for ages since I went to 4.7. Excuse me. There's another tank that facing 3-3 uh, three, three vehicles was ridiculous. But being at 4-7 now fights things that are panther <laughs> Yeah. Not ideal, as we say. We do have a plane up though, who's circling his own airfield. Yeah, okay, there goes the Chaffee. I don't know, maybe this guy's waiting on another plane to spawn for an escort? Oh, oh there we go, yeah, 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 that's exactly what he was doing. That is a uh, big brain strat right there, this guy's coming straight up for me. And here comes the laser 50 cows of death in a very short time. Yes sir. Oh, you hit me too, even though those didn't look like they were going to hit me. Right, we're going to have to fly this damage now for a while. God, that P-47 is... Got all the energy in the world there. It was a D? That seems like a wyvern or something. We can always go back and repair. That's not a big issue to me. I did not expect that P-47 to be able to pull up like that. Nice easy kill on him though. Uh, this dude's just going to circle his airfield, that's kind of boring. Not going to lie there, bud. Seems like the type of player that's just going to keep flying back to his airfield every time he engages something. Let's just keep an eye out on our actual engine temp. What's weird is the Allied team right now is doing what the German team normally does. Oh no, they're actually pushing now. They only just sit back really far. Don't do anything. This guy's climbing for me now. Is that a wyvern? I'm actually not sure what the hell that is. I'm pretty sure it's a wyvern. But <laughs> if it was last patch of what I heard them by now. BTD maybe? Yeah, it's a BTD. That's what he is. Dropping sea mines. Are you going to crash though? Okay. Nice. 
a good slap off that round. Right, our engine now is starting to heat up a wee bit. There he goes. Nice little fireball. No more enemy aircraft right now. Although they are like really pushing on this to just push past B cap, two of them. Without capping it. Oh this sorry, what the hell am I talking about? Of course they capped it. One is on C. And an enemy aircraft coming in. Good news for bad people. This guy is also going back. Is that the same guy? Yeah. Yes, it is. The enemy controls most of the strategic zones. Doing the exact same thing. We might need to target something open top to get another kill. I don't know. Well, maybe maybe he's enjoying himself doing that, and that's fine. But if he's getting frustrated because I keep killing him over and over again, it's because you'll never learn just flying passively constantly. You gotta be a wee bit more involved. To the map. Got a big boy coming. We still got oil. It is starting to overheat pretty bad though. This is a fairly large plane. A P-61 maybe. Yes, we are going underneath this. Because that 50 cal turret is lethal. And we are pulling off. Here comes another plane. I don't know where the other dudes went unless this is the guy. French P-40E and one more to go which is this dude that space climbed I don't mind actually we, I, I'll go after the dude this I'll go after this guy if this is the dude that went off to get some energy it's all good we still got more than half our ammo left Let's see if this dude wants to drop on us it's an F6. Yes. And we can outroll this guy, but he's quite well powerful. <laughs> and my engine is starting to get pretty toasty. Okay, dude. Here we go. Come on, camp. I got a hits on him, but no damage. The there we go. Oh, finally. Damn. That's our five kills. We still got ammo. And I believe that's another plane coming in. Can we go for six? That would be pretty, that would be pretty pog. Well, you're not allowed to say that on Twitch anymore. I'm going to get cancelled. This is YouTube though. The Wild West. Let's go, dude. I don't believe I'm going to get a six, but I'll try. Okay, got some hits on me. And we're going into a turn fight. Oh, the fuck a wolf. Get him, dude. I've already got five kills. It's all yours. If you want it, take it. Get him, Jan. Yes. Yes, do it. <laughs> well done, buddy. Oh, another one! You leave my fucking wolf alone. That's my new best friend. Not very much time left on the clock. Oh, we got... Come on! Oh, no! The game is over! <laughs> Today's video was hard to make. 
War Thunder servers really are on fire. They're just on that sort of borderline where Gaijin don't want to do anything about it, but it's relatively frustrating to play for players who just want to play the game. And by far, one of the most annoying bugs I have is I've got only EU servers selected, but it'll put me even in SA servers. And I don't mean it'll go over five minutes waiting time and then put me in. Sometimes it will just instantly put me in anywhere at once. On top of that, the Sometimes the plane just decides, hey, I want to go marry the ground right now and there's nothing I can do about it. No matter what altitude I'm at, it'll just nosedive towards the ground or I'll be flying level flight and my plane will just decide that it wants to bury itself six feet under. I don't want this channel to be about bugs and stuff like that because it'll just make me angry in the long run. This is my little holiday from reality and I really want to keep it that way. Anyway, I'm sure the J2 M5 is much better in Air RB than it is in Ground RB. If you want to be a complete sadist, no, really, don't buy this plane just to do this. But an ARB is pretty good fun. To all my patrons over on Patreon, I'm sorry about yesterday's lack of shout out. It's just I couldn't access the website at the time. You guys are all awesome. And a special thanks to all the tier 3 folks over there. It's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Thumpin' Bunny, Kyle of White, Houndy, Gateway, Belial, Trash Panda, Raj, Zemma, Ken the Salt Lord, Viking God, Warpig. The Firepiper, Sexy, Varian, Yogbo, Justin Darlin, J Tormy, and Fearsome Scotsman. Listen, if I ever develop some sort of respiratory, respiratory problem, at least I'm not reading out my list, I'll have some sort of benchmark. And to everyone who comes along to my channel every single day, really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.